So I've gotten more questions about shopping. I don't know. Maybe it seems like I shop a, a lot or I, I get good stuff. So people want to ask these questions. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with it. You know, I've never done a yard sale and look at it. I think the problem is I don't like being outside. And then it's people's stuff, which is also bad. I want new stuff. I don't necessarily want people's stuff. Or there should be some kind of buffer. Like, that's what eBay is for. Like, yes, it's someone's stuff. But by the time they put it on the site and pack it and ship it and, and send it out, it's it feels like maybe it's not their stuff. And if you hope they clean it. What was the question? Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And today I'm going to show you uh, a change we can make to the autopilot branding package um, that we deploy with Intune to Windows devices and make it a little bit more dynamic. So when you want to make changes, you don't have to repackage it every time. Um, yeah. Oh, you asked about dinner. I guess I went off on a tangent. I still don't go to yard sales. Okay, folks, so in a previous video, we took a look at autopilot branding, which is the solution created by Michael Niehaus, uh, which is basically deploying a, a set of scripts to Intune to help provision the device to your liking during autopilot. And we put that package together here um, and we have everything we need, right? So I'm gonna assume you've seen that. If not, go watch that and then come here, right? So a big piece of the solution is here. I'm gonna open this up with Visual Studio so you kind of get the, the lay of the land here. Um, the autopilot branding script, which is this guy, uh, in the very beginning, you can see it gets the content from an XML file. And that's where it takes a lot of the configuration, right? What apps to remove, time zones, things like that. Enable features, remove features. So recently I got asked about, you know, what if we want to change this up, right? Or we want to add just other pieces to this, but we don't want to modify uh, the actual package and re-upload it. So there's a very simple solution to this. All right, let's move to the trusty whiteboard for a moment. Um, I seem to be on a roll with this, even though I'm not very good at it. Can you, can you be bad at a whiteboard? I don't know, maybe. All right, so so we have our Windows PC and Intune. And when the Windows PC enrolls to Intune via Autopilot, it gets sent down the provisioning, the Autopilot branding package, which we will represent with a circle. Okay, so this is how it works, meaning anything you want to go in here, uh, meaning your scripts, your XML, um, that's all prepackaged. So, okay, so that's what's in the package right there. XML, PowerShell script, wallpaper files. Um, so some things, the thing we probably change the most is the XML. So how can we make this dynamic without remaking this package every time? So what we're going to do is we are going to create Azure Blob Storage. Now, if you don't know what Azure Blob Storage is, that's okay, I'm gonna show you. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the XML configuration in the blob storage. So what will happen is when this package goes to the device, it's actually going to call out to the blob storage. And then it's going to get the XML to bring it back to the package to run on the device. So if we make modifications, we don't have to make them here. All right, so first things first is we have to make blob storage. Um, I'm going to have to just re-sign into everything, I guess. So we're going to go to portal.azure.com. You're going to need a subscription for this. It's a very, very low cost. But like I said before, don't ask me about pricing because it's not my, uh, not my deal. So create a storage account. Uh, make sure you have a subscription and a resource group. I only have one. I'm going to call this Rubik's. Dev. Keep it nice and easy. Um, standard storage, just nothing crazy here. Um, I'm going to leave all the yeah, frequently access. Cool. I'm infrequently access data. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, public access, Microsoft network routing, that's fine. Again, I'm not going to go into a massive. Uh, whole thing here match keys blob files and files only okay so let's just say i kept all the defaults on that because that's what i did and we create 
when that's all done, doing whatever it felt the need to do, deployments in progress, that's just excellent. So while we're waiting for deployment in progress, we can actually make some changes to our code. Okay, so the main thing we're gonna change is this config will not be in here. So what we're gonna do, oh, get out of the way, is we are going to take this line that says loading configurations from loading configuration. So we're gonna, we're gonna block all this out for now. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we are going to say, we're going to, we'll say prep, prep, download XML from blob storage. And in order to download a file, it's gonna be a web request pretty much. So it's gonna be invoke web request. And what we are going to do is we are gonna basically for right here, we're gonna provide the provide. So this will be the um, here HTTPS URL to blob storage file. And that will be put somewhere locally on the machine. Uh, we're probably just gonna put it in the same place. Program data, Microsoft autopilot branding, which is, I believe, what we're using up here. Yep. So that's exactly where we're gonna we're gonna put this, um, and we'll call it config.xml. So really, we're pulling that down, and then once it's uh, there, we're gonna pretty much use the same command to pull it in. So we're gonna say it is config equals get content, but the path will be C program data, Microsoft autopilot branding config.xml. And uh, that'll give us the same result. So when we tell it to look at all that, it's gonna read from what we just pulled down. So let's go back to Azure for a moment because we're all set here and this is our storage account. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to containers right here. Okay. And uh, we are going to make a new container and we're going to call it branding. And we're going to, we're going to get to the, uh, the access in a moment. So we're going to call this branding and inside branding, we're going to upload our config file. So I'm just gonna go to desktop, autopilot branding, config XML. I'm gonna upload that. Okay, so now my config XML file is in here. So how do we download it? Um, well, in order to download it, there is a URL that we can use. Um, so let me go put that in the code since we'll need that. And that's gonna be up here. Um, but this is not going to work because this is literally just, um, that's going to be blocked, right? And you could tell because if we went to that URL, yeah, public access not permitted. So what do we need to do? Because you're going to want to keep the secure. You're not just going to want this like out there. Okay, so in order to secure this, you're going to want to go to the file. And when you're looking at the properties, um, you can go to generate a SAS token. And this is where you're going to get a token that allows the script to open this file. So you pick your time frame. Um, you're going to leave read permissions. Uh, I'm just going to go out a few months to show you. Obviously, you can put that out as far as you would like. And when you generate the SAS token in URL, you're going to want to copy this whole uh, piece right here, right? Because this is going to be what gives you access to the file. Um, all right. So what you can do is you can uh, then paste this into the code where the invoke web request goes. So it'll allow you to download that now. So if we open up a new tab and we paste that in, we're going to be able to see the file and I can invoke that. So if we were to go here, I can do invoke web request. I can type that path. And I can say out file is C temp config dot XML. Yep. And if we go look at that temp, there it is. J 
just like we left it and just leave it up in uh, in the blob storage. And when it's time to make changes to it, you can come in. Uh, you can download it. Open it up. You can open it in code and edit it. So let me do that. Uh, downloads. There it is. I can go ahead and make my changes and say uh, that FX, maybe I want to, I'm going to get rid of these comments because I don't want to um, disable the feature there. So let's do that. Okay. And uh, I'll hit save and I'll just take this and I'll just put it back. So let's go here and let's upload. Uh, we can leave overwrite if file exists. Um, overwrite. And now we have the new one. So when I go back here. See, look at that. Now these are enabled. So the next time this is pulled down from Intune through the autopilot branding package, it'll already be modified. So there you go. Maybe we also learned about blob storage. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with repackaging the autopilot branding if you want to. I mean, it doesn't take a tremendous amount of time, but I do know um, in different situation, folks want to be able to make that config change or maybe have a different team make it without going in and repackaging everything. So it's not mind blowing. It's not a must have, but it's just another option and options are good uh, for the tools we have to use for this stuff. So uh, hop in the discord. Let me know if you have any thoughts and we'll be seeing you. Five, four, three, two.